Hello. This video walks through a simple demo of the Fledge API and shows how to debug Fledge events for bidders and sellers in Chrome DevTools. Now, if you haven't heard of it before, Fledge is a privacy sandbox proposal to serve remarketing and custom audience use cases designed so it cannot be used by third parties to track user browsing behavior across sites. To find out more, take a look at the Fledge overview on developer.chrome.com. And the Fledge API developer guide provides more technical detail. Now, the demo I'll run through here is available at fledge-demo.glitch.me. You can view source for the demo on Glitch itself, or you know, click Remix to create your own version of the demo. Or if you prefer, you can simply clone the repo from GitHub. The current iteration of Fledge is not yet available in an origin trial, but can be tested by a single user running a current version of Chrome, Chrome Beta, or you know, Chrome Canary with feature flags set from the command line. If you haven't used feature flags before, take a look at this article on chromium.org. There are different flags for Fledge, depending on whether you want to use fenced frames or iframes to display ads. Now, you can find out more about what that means from the developer guide. Now, that also explains what features are supported behind these flags in the latest version of Chrome. Now, for this demo, I'll run Chrome Canary from the command line using the fenced frames flag. Now, here's a kind of obvious tip. If you're regularly opening Chrome or Canary with flags, uh, you might want to consider adding an alias to your shell config, or you know, just create a file with the command to open with flags, and set that file to be opened by your terminal. In the screencast, I'm showing how to do that on a Mac using iTerm. Anyway, so let's get started with the demo. Now, just to reiterate, I'm running Chrome Canary with flags, and now I'll open the demo homepage. There are two stages to this demo. First, you visit two sites that are advertiser sites. And just to be clear, I'm using the word advertiser here to mean sites that want to advertise their products. Advertisers will often use a third party ad tech platform for this, of course. Now, each site in this demo has a third party iframe with code that calls navigator join add interest group to ask the browser to join an interest group. Next, you visit a demo publisher site, which calls navigator run ad auction to run an on device auction to select an ad. And one thing, you know, just to make it clear, these are not real sites, they're just for the demo. Anyway, let's see what happens when I open the first of the two advertiser sites which is a shopping site. Now, as I said, the advertiser sites both have third-party ad code running from an iframe. If I view the source for that page, you can see there's an iframe for the code, like you, know, you might expect from a DSP ad tech platform. If I view the source for the iframe, you'll see that it links to a JavaScript file, which calls Fledger's navigator join ad interest group method. Now uh, let's take a look at Chrome DevTools to see what happens now that the code has run. Now the demo shows logging from the demo DSP code, the value of the ads parameter from the request URL, the interest group argument passed to the join ad interest group method, and some information about the DOM content loaded event, and a warning about future permissions policy constraints. And you can find out more about all that from the resources linked to in the description of this video. Now I'll head over to the Applications panel. I'll need to refresh for DevTools to display Fledge events. Now you can see the Interest Group Join event and click to get more detail. Now I'll open the site for the other advertiser in this demo, which is a travel site. And once again, I'll open Chrome DevTools to see what's happening. And again, you can see the join event and click for details. And remember, you'll need to refresh the page if DevTools wasn't open when you navigated to the site. Now I'll open the publisher site in this demo. In this example, 
I've opened the version that uses a fenced frame to display an ad. Now let's take another look at DevTools. Now, you can see all the events and how the auction, the Fledge auction, was run to select the best ad. So that's Fledge. To find out more, take a look at the Fledge overview on developer.chrome.com. And like I said at the start, the Fledge API developer guide provides more technical detail. Uh, if you have comments or feedback, you can create an issue on the API explainer on GitHub. And you know, if you have questions about the demo, you can post them on this video or just DM me at SW12 on Twitter. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. And don't forget to check out our other Privacy Sandbox videos.